Welcome. This video will serve as an introduction to monitoring Java and Java Virtual Machines, also known as JVMs, on ZOS. Starting at SysView 15.0, a new feature was added to monitor JVMs. Additionally, a set of commands were added to monitor language environment, also known as LE. It is important to understand that JVMs run under an LE enclave, thus LE settings can affect the JVM. Being able to monitor both JVMs and LE can enable you to better understand how your JVMs are functioning and performing. Select the JVM LE menu from the primary SysView menu to view more JVM and LE related commands. The JVM LE menu displays the available commands and submenus for the JVM component. To list address spaces with active JVMs, select the JVM list command. Here, on the JVM list command, all active JVMs in the system are organized by address space. SysU automatically detects when JVMs start and stop. As JVMs come and go from the system, so will they from this display. The ASI type column indicates what type of JVM is running. For example, an ASI type of JZOS is the Java for ZOS JVM loader. These JVMs are commonly started as standalone applications. An ASI type of CICS means that the CICS region is running one or more JVMs. In this case, the CICS region is running three individual JVMs. The AM column, short for addressing mode, indicates whether the JVM is running a 31 or 64-bit JVM. There are several versions of Java, and it is important to know if the JVMs running on your system are up-to-date and running supported versions. The version column allows you to easily see the Java version for each active JVM. The application column is an interesting piece of information, as it is not derived from the JVM. Instead, this information is specified by the invoker of the JVM in an LE environment variable called sysview underscore application. Many JVMs from the exterior look similar, so with the addition of the environment variable sysview application, it will allow anyone viewing the JVM list command to determine what application the JVM is running. All it requires is a small update to the environment variables used when launching the JVM. Speaking of LE environment variables, the available line commands on JVM list will allow you to view more JVM and LE configuration. Use the line command assist to view the available line commands that can be issued for a given JVM. On the LC assist display, you can see several options to select from. Let's select the LE ENV line command to view all LE environment variables for the LE enclave in which the JVM is running. Here, we see the environment variables. Note we can see the previously mentioned sysview application environment variable. JVMs can be launched from a Unix shell, and in many cases, environment variables are used to pass information to the JVM or launch a specified version of Java. This command will display all of those settings, so the runtime environment can be easily verified. Another available line command is the le heaps command. Since the JVM storage heap is dictated by the LE storage heap, and the LE storage heap is dictated by the ZOS address space storage limits, it is important to understand the LE storage heap allocation if a JVM is having a storage problem. This command shows heap allocations for each heap type. Another available line command is the LE ops command. This command displays the LE runtime options for the LE enclave of the selected JVM. LE runtime options can be set in a multitude of locations and ways. Here you can identify which options are set, what values are set on those specified options, and where the options were specified in the first place. One last line command to cover is the LE paths command. A path may be the value of an LE environment variable, and that path may have many directories specified within it. The LE paths command parses and splits the paths into individual directories, placing each directory on its own line, making them easier to work with. By default, this command is set up to parse any LE environment variable name containing the word path into directories. To ensure you have SysView's JVM component up and running, 
there are two pieces of configuration that must be in place. One, you must specify the component-JVM parameter with a value of yes in the system configuration member. And two, you must specify the start for the JVM data subtask in the SVW dollar main ParmLive member. That concludes this video. For more detailed information about CA SysView performance management, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths. Thank you.